on there. So uh, it's seven o'clock in the morning. We went to bed at about ten. Um, so I probably got about, I reckon probably about seven, no, more, quite close to probably eight hours sleep. I woke up a few times, but I actually feel quite at home in the, the jungle, um, despite people telling me it's almost impossible to sleep and I'll have a bad time. I slept, I'd say, just as well as any other night. Um, so, uh, yeah, I didn't get eaten by anything or bitten by anything. Um, it was actually a really pleasant experience. Um, it's quite nice to be to be here. Um, yeah, looking forward to another day. Uh, just another, I've seen something a little bit interesting. Just uh, an army of red ants carrying a, a bug back. I don't know where they're going to take it. Presumably back to their house to eat. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so it's the beginning of uh, day three. Uh, we're in the jungle, and uh, I don't know if Fabio can say a little, tell us a little bit about what's going to happen today. Hey, good morning. And um, now this morning we're going to jungle walk to try to see something. They're more for recognize the medicine plant. About to jungle walk for three hours. Mm -hmm. Then return to here, take everything, and go to the boat. I prepare you and float the house for my friends swim a little bit. Mm -hmm. At the same time I prepare the lunch. After lunch you go to outside side the river to make a camp in different place. Hello, so Fabio was just explaining uh, to me quite an interesting communication and sort of survival fact about this particular tree. So my friend, this is one type of the tree, the name is Sapopema. It's called Amazon Jungle Telephone. The moment the local people, the Indian people come to the jungle for hunt, in the middle of the jungle he separate. And then he use this kind of trunk to communication with your friend. You lost or something, the poisoning snake or scorpion or spider bite me. And then I talk to the tree. Everybody come to help to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, Fabio's convinced me to do a bit of Tarzan myself. Just hold on. Good to more, more higher. Higher, oh, yeah? I'm pretty heavy because I'll swing more, right? You put your legs around me. Yeah, it's, it's more easy for you. You think it's strong enough for me? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Jesus. Good luck, my friend. <laughs> Can you look for the camera? <laughs> One time more. One time more, yeah? Jesus. You can look up. Good, man. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we found a little hole and uh, there's a tarantula in there. Um, I've given Fabio my flashlight. And he's got a little bug, I think, on the end of a stick. Don't know if we can, if you can, can you see, can we get it to come out a bit? That's a one big spider man, Jesus. So Fabio hasn't given up trying to get this tarantula out of his house yet. He's crafting another tool. What are you making here, another stick? <laughs> Another type of stick that will prize uh, this tarantula out of his home. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty hot here anyway, but it's making me sweat a little bit just watching. I can still see, I don't know if the camera's picking this up. Those, those fangs really are impressive. Oh, here we go, he's out. Do you, want to, do you want to film him? Because you're better. I don't, I'd rather you get closer to him than Why me. Why are you not going to close, man? No, nah, I don't want to get too close. <laughs> so I see they're pretty quick on the ground. So is there... This is the fang, right? Yeah, now it's your way to attack. That's the attack mode? Yeah. It looks like I'm more in line for attack than you right now. So, I'll get behind you. this is one type of the, the tarantula. 
she have a toxin yeah. in the hair. Normally, this is the tarantula bite to you. It look like wasp bite. Okay. You know? But the problem is the hair. The hair have a toxin. She use the hair to uh, try to, to hunt and something to eat. A uh -huh. bird, a snake, a scorpion, little frog, grass up, everywhere. Yeah. Normally the tarantulas walk in the night and the day she sleep in the hole. Uh -huh. Here have a three different types of the tarantula. Two live in the hole in the ground, you one live in the hole in the tree. Mm -hmm. Normally the crazy people <laughs> he eat the tarantula. Mm. But probably for you clean because you need to be careful for the hair. Because mm -hmm. you eat one hair, it's possible to you you die. Yeah. But there you have it, I'm getting to see a lot more of the Amazon uh, rainforest and its inhabitants than I thought. Uh, that's really good fun. That's another one off the uh, bucket list. Shit, I thought there was something down there. Okay, so we've found uh, some bull ants. Uh, they're all in like, their little house in the ground and then Fabio will show how to get them out. Do you want to show? Here they come. Be See? careful, don't touch, because one bite you have a 24 hour pain. 24 hours of pain? Yeah. Worse than the tarantula? This is more dangerous. More dangerous than the tarantula. There you go. So they're quite like militant, right? Mm -hmm. Like as in anything that disturbs them, they come straight away. Cool. You know for the documentary for the Indian tribe? Yeah. Prepare for the clothes. Mm -hmm. Put the hands inside the clothes, the moment of the ritual. Oh, really? So this kind of end. So in order to show their... Why do they do that? To show their... The ritual? Yeah. Yeah, the boy needed to to make the to put the hands because for for him this one strong boy for the tribal. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Fabio's taken out some. This is larvae. Right. So we have one each. Can you see it moving around? Okay, my friend. This is one type of the palm tree. The name is Inaja. In Asia, I have this small coconut. Mm -hmm. It's better. You eat for the meat, for the fruit, mm -hmm. before the animal eat. I see. After three months, the time the fruit falling down in the ground, stay in the ground. Here, this little hole, you see? Yeah, there's a. Yep. Have water. Mm -hmm. The taste is look like coconut water. I see. After three or four months, the same water transform for this vat. Uh, lava. Lava. Uh -huh. Okay. After lava stay here for two months more. Total, mm -hmm. total is six months. Yeah. And this little uh, lava mm -hmm. transform in the firefly. So this is will be a firefly. This is what we saw last night. You see here uh, the black one here in the front. Yeah. Here. Yep. Yeah, little. That's, that's at the head. You see the teeth. The head. Oh, that's the teeth. Yeah. After here a little bit more big one. Yeah. You remember the the first one? Yeah, 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 yeah. You have a strong tea. Mm -hmm. And then the tea bite for the the coconut. Uh -huh. Make one little hole. Yeah. And then he fly. And the the fireflies they they emit this light during the night. It looks like a little torch. Yeah. And they they use some kind of solar power. Yeah, because here uh, here have a light because for the light for the sun. Yeah, they have some kind of solar properties in them. And then after he fly. Mm -hmm. Make one fire flight. Cool. But it's difficult for him to survive here. Because yeah. have a lot of insects to eat. Who eat it? And yeah. And so sometimes. I try to eat, have a lot of protein. Yeah. Which is good. The taste is good, look like coconut. Yeah. And I've got one here. And if Fabio's eating one, and I have to eat one too, right? A bite. Doesn't taste too bad. Hmm. You good? Yeah, you have to eat a lot of those to survive in the jungle, right? Yeah. Okay, so we've got back on the boat. 
um, but the water's gone down by, I don't know, maybe a foot or something, so it's more shallow and the boat won't pass. So Fabio's asked me to uh, get out of uh, the boat and push it along the way. How much further have we got down here, Fabio? Maybe for 10 meters. Only 10 meters? Yeah. And then you think it'll be more enough? And is it Prani in here? This is <laughs> I don't believe the anaconda's here, but it's possible. Anyway, bye bye. Okay, so the um, pulling the boat over the uh, sunken trunk trick didn't work. Um, we've got to use another method, which is pulling the boat through through here. Anyway, we've got to do a job now. So that other route worked in the end. We just. One day more, my friend, the boat will stay here for six months. <laughs> oh, really? Not six months? Come on. <laughs> no, no, we'll stay here one day more. We'd have to stay one more day, yeah? The boat don't, I don't take more the boat. Mm -hmm. So we're lucky that we managed to find a route through. This is like a labyrinth. Do you know what I mean by a labyrinth? Mm -hmm. It's like a maze, you know? Yeah. This one. So we've arrived at um, this remote place its destination and they're uh, gonna go swimming for a little while and then we'll walk into the camp and set up for the night too in the forest over there. This is a, a beach on the Amazon River and um, I've spotted a, a monkey and uh, if I've learned anything about monkeys if you want to get some of their attention you have to have some kind of trade and today that's an orange so um, I don't know whether he'll want to come over or not. Here he is. I don't know what type of monkey this one is. He's pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, generally speaking, if you don't have um, something to trade with the monkey, particularly if he doesn't know you, then you've got very little chance of him coming over and saying hello. Um, but whilst I have a succulent orange, I think he's quite happy. Have it. Come here. If I can get him to interact a bit more. Wait, have a bit more. Hey, look at the camera. Anyway, yeah, I like playing with monkeys, they're always, they're always good fun. This isn't the kind of thing you can do in England very often. Okay, well that's my trade, I'll leave that with you. Okay, so we're on our way into the jungle and um, Fabio has just uh, stopped me because he's uh, seen a, a poisonous steak. Uh, it's very well camouflaged, so I don't know whether you, the camera's going to pick it up, but I don't know if I can pass you the camera. Fabio? <laughs> Look for the head. What type of snake is it? The name here is Surukuku. Is it a cuckoo? Surukuku is the same farm to the rat snake. You know rat snake? Yeah. Now show where it to attack. You see? Yeah. The 
You see the tail? Yeah, I can see. She moved the tail. Yeah. Yeah, I can. You can? Yeah, I can see. You hear the noise? Yeah. What are those? The toucan. Toucan. So a parrot, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we've uh, arrived at camp. Um, Fabio's just gone to collect some more firewood. I was helping him a bit earlier on. Here's the fire. Here's the new camp. Quite similar to the last one, really. Um, I asked Fabio um, what, how deadly that snake was, and he said it's very deadly. If you get bitten by it, you... Um, you need to be in hospital between 40 and 50 minutes, otherwise it's likely to be fatal. Um, just makes me think, you know, and he, he said that he knows five people who have um, who have died from that, that snake. Um, it just makes me wonder what I'm doing here, but I'm a real amateur. I just paid some guy 1,500 hay eyes, which is about, I don't know, 450 quid. Uh, for five days uh, in Manaus with someone I found off the internet. Um, you know, didn't sign any disclaimers, just took some cash out, gave it to some guy. He drove me to some other guy, who is uh, Fabio, who then had taken me to two very remote parts of uh, the Amazon rainforest. Um, but yeah, when you hear about statistics, like, you know, it's in, this could be very easy to... Um, to snap on a snake, a snake like that, and uh, even if he stepped on it, and I'd be here by myself. Um, you know, I, I don't know how to get back to, to camp from here. Um, it makes you think really about, you know, survival. Um, uh, and, you know, why put yourself in these kind of situations. Uh, even though it's extremely, you know, it's great fun. It is a, it's a you know, it's a absolutely awesome adventure. And uh, you know, I've got to see some really incredible things. Um, but if something happened to me, you know, as in, I don't, you know, I wouldn't better get out of it. And also, I don't really know that people don't actually um, know where I am properly. Um, I've got a friend in Brazil that knows where I am, um, but I didn't tell my parents where I was going. Um, Fabio's family were would want to look after his well-being and make sure he returned, and I'm sure they'd send out some kind of search party. But yeah, anyway, it's kind of, um, I don't know. I guess I could consider it a bit irresponsible and perhaps a bit short-sighted and a bit ignorant to come out and do something like this off the cuff. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm still alive and I'm very much enjoying it. It's just uh, having talked to him about that snake and seen how close it was and knowing that I could have stepped on it um, just makes you think about all these all these things. <sighs> anyway, uh, I am very much enjoying it still. Um, Fabio will be back soon. Uh, with the remaining firewood and we'll get something to eat. Again, it's probably about 40 minutes until uh, until uh, it's dark and uh, we'll be camping again and then uh, yeah, another three, four hour hike. And I'll actually be probably quite glad to um, return to some kind of normality because uh, I think the risks here, although they aren't, uh, trying to summarise them, I don't think they're really high but they're certainly not low. Um, but anyway, you could to liberate the idea of safety in the forest uh, for some time and I think I've done enough of that for now. Um, Alright then, cheers, bye bye. Okay so it will be um, dinner time soon and um, once again um, Fabio has crafted a, a pretty cool tool that's put a whole chicken on it and on a stick. I don't know how well you can see this. So basically, it's a, a cut a piece of a single piece of wood into um, four strands, and then um, sort of trapped the chicken in between two of each of the strands, and then used um, some bark off a tree as rope. Um, so again, another interesting little tool of the trade. Um, I guess we'll be eating this in. I don't know, half an hour, an hour or something like that. 